previously on TV Sins. I am so happy we're moving here. You are so smart to have thought of this. I wouldn't give up my family for anything. Not for all the chocolate in the world. And your horoscope says, on the 5th, a special someone is going to give you a gift. Is this a horoscope or a prophecy? You're going to make a joke about my special present. Watching Monica worry about something that hasn't happened is setting off my anxiety. Doesn't she know that worry is a misuse of imagination? I read that on Twitter just before my daily blocking binge. Haters gonna hate and Tay Tay taught me to shake it off. And on the 19th, a secret crush announces itself. Once again, we see Rachel unleash drama and smugly sit back while her friends unravel around her. Rachel is a villain. I can't even use Chandler's computer so, to find porn. And, and that's only because it's right there when you turn it on. Ah, yes, porn in 2000. When we'd ask Jeeves to show us all the dirty things and they'd load from top to bottom, freeze, and start again 45 seconds later. I think our lover spat will start a little early this month. Which should come as no surprise to anyone because Chandler and Monica have now become the writer's dumping ground for marital stereotypes. Is wrong, Ross. There's plenty of room on the couch for your skinny ass, so cool it with the all shucks bull. Do you ever wonder if, at this very moment in time, Jennifer Aniston was thinking, What the f am I getting myself into here? Rachel and I have appointments to get our hair cut. If you listen closely, you can hear her in her monologue. Please don't make me cut my hair in layers again. I really want this guy to like me. It, it would really help me out if you guys could be here to kind of make me look good. Sure, I can help with that. Burn the pocketed fuzzy pajama button up. Also, do you really want someone who sits like this to try and make a good impression? This man spread hand for cup and foot propped up display is horrifying. When do I get to meet the robot? Joey Tribbiani. Oh this is- Wow. He's so lifelike. I mean, I get that Joey's supposed to be dumb, but there's dumb and then there's make Homer Simpson look like he's in Mensa level dumb. Uh, I'll let you two guys get acquainted, huh? With fists? What a strange hand gesture to use when introducing two people. I spent two years developing this machine. It's absolutely state of the art. This horror robot is absolutely not state of the art. In fact, the big news in 2000 was that robots had evolved from four legs to two legs with Sony's SDR3. And while yes, I had to look that up, it was totally worth it to see this clip. You're welcome. I thought it doesn't really look like it can do anything. You can do this. <laughs> robot ball tapping? Roballing? Ball botting? Why can't you get a girlfriend your own age? This is robbing the cradle joke three of an eventual 15 in this episode alone, but it's kind of deserved, right? We know Elizabeth is around 20 here, and the best friend scientists working tirelessly in a lab in Sacramento have determined Ross's age to be around 32. So if we use the half age plus seven rule, Ross shouldn't be dating anyone younger than 23. So yeah, add questionable age gap relationships to the ever expanding list of Ross's character flaws. I don't like you going out with my daughter, Ross. Okay. Um, I can, I can see that. You know who else can see that and probably saw it coming? Elizabeth, who for some reason is acting incredibly nonchalant through the entire exchange. You would think of all people, she would have been able to give Ross a heads up about her dad's mannerisms. Also, what the hell is the purpose of this episode, except for a stunt casting and a chummy favor after filming the whole nine yards? I mean, Bruce Willis is just playing Jimmy the Tulip, and it serves no purpose to the story. The f has Ross cared about any of his previous girlfriend's fathers? Is there a, a Mrs. Stevens? There's a Mr. Bing. So the standard in relationship is that Chandler gets heat for looking at porn, but Monica can momentarily throw marital caution to the wind and openly flirt with a stranger? I get that a lot. There's a fine line sometimes between charm and smarm, but I'm pretty sure early century Bruce Willis falls completely on the smarm side of that line. You can communicate a lot of things with a smile. Bruce's communicates, hi, I'm an asshole. Here we are, Paul, Elizabeth. Paul asked Ross to call him Mr. Stevens. This is clearly Ross's attempt to gain some ground in the testosterone race. That's right, the sin is for testosterone, motherfuckers. No, the little girl creeps me out. You said the baby. Why would the baby creep me out? Why would the little girl creep you out? Better question. Why would a toilet paper company called Very Soft with a tagline of Extra Soft use this image to convey their brand? There is nothing soft about ski blades and a frozen lake. Also, I can solve this ridiculous fight. Take the teepee out of the bag when you get home. Can you please talk a little slower? Left-handers. Paul's view of the keys is obstructed by Rachel's sweater and the couch itself, which means Paul has x-ray vision, which honestly may explain why he can see through Ross's bull We? Oh, yeah, it usually takes two people to... Two lightsaber battles with their penises? Yes, I suppose you're right. So why don't you just get him fired? Damn, that's dark thinking there, Phoebe. Is this really in line with her character? Shouldn't she be suggesting a bonding exercise like goat yoga or trust falls? Joey Tribbiani. Joe! I'm glad I found you. Find it. Was she calling all his landline hangout spots asking for Joey until she remembered he has his own f***ing cell phone? Also, flip phones. I'm the lead in mac and cheese. Uh-oh. I mean, friends can be good, but sometimes when it's bad, it's SNL sketch that got cut a dress bad. When we last saw Joey's secret stuffed animal, it didn't need goggles. Why does Hugsy need... Oh, God. If this were real life, Rachel wouldn't walk this direction around the table to get to Ross. She'd turn the other way in a direct path. Oh, stage cues. Why do you complicate things? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't even see you. 
<laughs> Ross's instinct is to blatantly lie about seeing someone he's uncomfortable around. The failure of all relationships really do rest squarely on his shoulders. You came in, you got all awkward, and you ran to the bedroom, you were shouting, Joey, Joey! <laughs> is Jennifer mouthing Bruce's lines here? Scene stealer. He lost his keys, so he was looking for them. In your mouth? No. Downstairs. Well, that's even kinkier. You gotta go back there and kiss some serious robot ass. Little known fact, Alex Garland got the initial idea for the Ex Machina screenplay from this very episode. Chantilly was a restaurant known for its fine dining, floral entryway, and cozy corner seating that scrunches four people around the same side of the table so they can all be in the same camera shot. It has an incredibly high score on Yelp from the TV sitcom director demographic. So Ross was in college and decided to jump at the chance to take a young girl to her high school prom. I Definitely did not see that one backfiring. Friends writers 20 years later. You have a son. I feel like every single one of the writers just had the same shocking revelation. Carol and I are on excellent terms, as I'm sure you are with your wife. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's unbelievable. That you forgot Paul's wife had died and you continue to insinuate you're a pervert? Yes, it is unbelievable. Even Ross, with all his flaws, should have a far better ability to converse with an adult human. <laughs> I know their friends and their lives are rarely spent apart from each other, but at what point does hanging out in a married couple's apartment turn strange? Also, is Phoebe happy to find her friends arguing? One of the name of Ursula is up with this evil Phoebe nonsense. And you are the queen of everything. Thanks, so are you. <laughs> Damn, audience, save your screaming laughter for something actually funny, like, well, I guess I'm so burnt out on friends, nothing feels funny anymore. Ross did learn something from each marriage. How to make the next one even shorter. Elizabeth's dad would be excellent at TV since. Maybe I have to pee again. I wonder what's in the purse. We know it's not a smartphone. God, what a nightmare we lived in back in 2000 when going to the bathroom meant just going to the bathroom. You know what, Daddy? If you don't like Ross, that's fine. Hang on, sweetie. The adult males are talking. No need to make the audience think that you're anything but a prop to boost a weird storyline with the creepiest character in the series and inflate the conflict with an overpriced guest star. Let the menfolk work this one out. The shipment never made it through Omaha. I hope they're not actually shooting the show from this angle because the set designers left out an entire wall. Hello, name's Bruce. Wow, he's so lifelike. Are you attracted to me? They give me indications that you are. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! I love, I love this little guy. Reassemble, Stephanie. Reassemble. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. In five years, you have never apologized to me this quickly. Something's going on here, and I'm going to find out what it is. 